In other developments, the U.S. has confirmed its first case of a new form of MPOX that was first seen in eastern Congo. Health officials say the person had traveled to eastern Africa and was treated in northern California upon return. Their symptoms are improving and the risk to the public is low. Earlier this year, scientists reported a new form of MPOX in Africa that spread through close contact. Cases of the new form have since been confirmed in parts of Europe and Asia. Let's now invite Dr. Dale Kalina, Infectious Disease Specialist and Chief Medical Information Officer at Brand Community Healthcare System. Dr. Kalina, good evening and thanks for your time. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Akshay. So this U.S. Uh, has confirmed that it's first case of this new form of MPOX that was first seen in eastern Congo. What more do we know about this strain compared to others? So this strain, the clade 1B is what it is, is really a... a a continuation of the clade one strain, which has been endemic in the area of the Congo Basin, so the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Congo, etc., uh, for decades. Um, this outbreak has been ongoing for about uh, a year and a half at this time. Uh, so this one differs from the outbreak that we saw uh, two years ago in 2022, which was primarily amongst gay and bisexual men who have sex with men. And this one is primarily been seen uh, in children, uh, but really across the, the board and that's localized primarily to Eastern Africa. The biggest challenge is that this clade one, one which is what we're talking about today, uh, does tend to be a little bit more aggressive, um, tends to transmit a little bit more readily, and that's what we see when viruses mutate uh, as well. So that's what we're seeing here today. So kids are at more danger and it spreads more easily. So what is it that we're really looking for in terms of symptoms in kids? So traditionally, MPOX does target uh, all comers, but tends to be a little bit more aggressive in children at the extremes of age. So children right. and also uh, elderly adults. Uh, and that differentiates it from that other outbreak uh, from 2022. Uh, but uh, what we look for is regular cold and flu-like symptoms, uh, which we see with the vast majority of viruses. But stereotypically with MPOX, we also see a, a very... Um, typical rash, which is these painful blisters, and we can see them kind of throughout the body. We can see them in a number of different areas, and they do have quite a, a, a stereotyped appearance as well, and we see them both with children and also adults that get it. How does it spread, doctor? So it primarily spreads through close contact, um, everything from sharing a bed to sex to other things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But a little bit less is known about the way the virus spreads in terms of the way uh, it would spread through, say, droplets or, or airborne transmission. So if you are uh, at risk or if you, for example, have been exposed to people, we would recommend that people isolate themselves away from others. And for example, when they're in the hospital, we also wear personal protective equipment for around people who have been exposed to or have MPOX as well. Isolate for how long? And also secondary, uh, how can it be cured? So the virus itself has an incubation period, usually between 5 and 13 days, but it can be a little bit longer than that, up to 21 days. Um, the, the important thing to keep in mind is we do have antivirals, but the, the important thing is primarily to be vaccinated if you're at higher risk. Uh, so here in Canada, the higher risk uh, individuals still tend to be uh, gay and bisexual men who have sex with men. Uh, but also, if you are traveling to an area where it is endemic right now, primarily the Democratic Republic of the Congo, um, it would be important to seek out a travel clinic as well beforehand, see if you qualify for a vaccination beforehand, either here or there, but also to prevent that infection. So try to avoid areas where you know that there is spread and things like that, uh, which is exactly what we would do back here as well. Great advice as always. Dr. Dale Kalina, great to see you. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Take care, Akshay. You too.